I was cycling tonight and the sky turned like Neptune blue, the sunset, and this reflection appeared on a lake. And it made me realize that photons carry information. Like the fact that there's a reflection, doesn't that mean that the light is carrying information of that, that image? The silhouetted trees, it took that image of the silhouette and like projected it onto the lake. So the photon is massless, but how is it massless if it carries information like the um, impression of those trees? Like it clearly, you know, it's carrying information. So is information just weightless and massless? That's what I'm wondering. The other thing we talked about was that light from the stars that we saw tonight, how it was from like billions of years ago. Mm -hmm. It's really weird that tonight is its night. Like tonight is literally its night to shine. <laughs> it's the star of the show. Those unique photons? Yeah, those photons have been traveling like billions of years and it's like tonight is their night to be observed. Yeah. And captured by my retina. It makes me feel like way too important. A, a one in a trillion, trillion, trillion chance of your eyeball meeting its photons. Yeah. And it makes me feel like way too important because if I wasn't here or someone wasn't here, I guess, like it wouldn't have its day in the day in the sun, <laughs> day in the <laughs> day in the moonlight, day in the night. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> it wouldn't have its night, I guess. So, I don't know. I guess I guess I'm a believer in that Copenhagen interpretation that the observer's everything. The thing is, I like many worlds, too. I like them both. Are those inconsistent with each other? I think so. That'll have to be the topic for another video. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>